The gold price was fairly unchanged on Friday afternoon after it peaked at its highest level in three months on Thursday. Spot gold was last seen around $1,220 per ounce, having surged in two consecutive sessions earlier in the week. Silver also hit a three-month high on Thursday at $17.58. It was last seen down to around $17.50. The story this week has been all about the weakening dollar, with forecasts missing US retail sales data and PPI numbers for April, driving the greenback down towards its lowest level since February, giving gold the impetus to move higher. Sluggish demand at the start of the second quarter in the US will exacerbate fears that what was thought to be a temporary slowdown in the US economy in the first quarter may well stretch into the second quarter and ultimately steady the Fed's hand when it comes to the normalization of monetary policy, which is widely expected to take place at some stage in the next six months. INTL's Ed Mears said that the data fuels expectations that the Fed will not only stand pat in June, but might even pass on raising rates in September, particularly if the economy does not show signs of improvement. Today, there were further indications of the potential slowdown. The University of Michigan's consumer sentiment number coming in strongly under forecast, which has once again seen the dollar bearing the brunt of the data. Next week will be all about whether or not this run of poor data continues, which has seen the dollar hit its lowest level since February. Investors will now be scrutinizing all US data for further indications that the second quarter growth could follow first quarter growth, which is at the moment looking like it may well be revised into negative territory. In the PGMs, Patman trading around one month highs at 1170 per ounce ahead of LPPM week next week, with Palladium around $790 per ounce. This is Ian Walker reporting for the Bullion Desk down here at the London Netflix Exchange.